And so I want to just tell you what a great honor this is. I want to thank you. I will not let you down. America's future will be bigger, better, bolder, richer, safer and stronger than it has ever been before. God bless you and God bless America. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so, of course, we all know that America made the decision last week to finally end tyranny. But have you seen this new video Trump released? It's a plan for ending online censorship. If we don't have free speech, then we just don't have a free country. It's as simple as that. If this most fundamental right is allowed to perish, then the rest of our rights and liberties will topple just like dominoes, one by one, they'll go down. That's why today I'm announcing my plan to shatter the left-wing censorship regime and to reclaim the right to free speech for all Americans. And reclaim is a very important word in this case because they've taken it away. In recent weeks, bombshell reports have confirmed that a sinister group of deep state bureaucrats, Silicon Valley tyrants, left-wing activists and depraved corporate news media have been conspiring to manipulate and silence the American people. They have collaborated to suppress vital information on everything from elections to public health. So it hasn't even been a week and we already have more great news. The censorship cartel must be dismantled and destroyed and it must happen immediately. And here's my plan. First, within hours of my inauguration, I will sign an executive order banning any federal department or agency from colluding with any organization, business, or person to censor, limit, categorize, or impede the lawful speech of American citizens. I will then ban federal money from being used to label domestic speech as mis- or disinformation. And I will begin the process of identifying and firing every federal bureaucrat who has engaged in domestic censorship, directly or indirectly, whether they are the Department of Homeland Security, the Department of Health, Human Services, the FBI, the DOJ, no matter who they are. Second, I will order the Department of Justice to investigate all parties involved in the new online censorship regime, which is absolutely destructive and terrible, and to aggressively prosecute any and all crimes identified. These include possible violations of federal civil rights law, campaign finance laws, federal election law, securities law, and antitrust laws, the Hatch Act, and a host of other potential criminal, civil, regulatory, and constitutional offenses. To assist in these efforts, I am urging House Republicans to immediately send preservation letters, and we have to do this right now, to the Biden administration, the Biden campaign, and every Silicon Valley tech giant ordering them not to destroy evidence of censorship. Wow, I'm sure there's no way the Biden administration is actually gonna do that, but I don't think it matters. This is gonna change everything. Third, upon my inauguration as president, I will ask Congress to send a bill to my desk, revising section 230, to get big online platforms out of censorship business. From now on, digital platforms should only qualify for immunity protection under Section 230 if they meet high standards of neutrality, transparency, fairness, and non-discrimination. Ha! YouTube isn't going to like that very much, are they? We should require these platforms to increase their efforts to take down unlawful content such as child exploitation a pedophile. and promoting terrorism while dramatically curtailing their power to arbitrarily restrict lawful speech. And Vouch is the first one they should get rid of. I don't normally advocate for the removal of channels on YouTube, but that guy is disgusting. He accidentally showed artist-rendered pornography of children with horses on one of his live streams. And just guess how badly he got punished by YouTube. He wasn't punished at all. He's still monetized. Meanwhile, every time I start uploading a new trial edit, YouTube deletes one of my older videos. Happens every time. And what did I do? Nothing, that's what. So for those of you who get angry when I talk about Trump, 
This is why I love the guy, and I'm just not sorry about it. Fourth, we need to break up the entire toxic censorship industry that has arisen under the false guise of tackling so-called myths and disinformation. The federal government should immediately stop funding all nonprofits and academic programs that support this authoritarian project. If any U.S. university is discovered to have engaged in censorship activities or election interferences in the past, such as flagging social media content for removal of blacklisting, those universities should lose federal research dollars and federal student loan support for a period of five years and maybe more. We should also enact new laws laying out clear criminal penalties for federal bureaucrats who partner with private entities to do an end run around the Constitution and deprive Americans of their First, Fourth, and Fifth Amendment rights. In other words, deprive them of their vote. And once you lose those elections, and once you lose your borders like we have, you no longer have a country. Furthermore, to confront the problems of major platforms being infiltrated by legions of former deep staters and intelligence officials, there should be a seven-year calling off period before any employee of the FBI, CIA, NSA, DNI, DHS, or DOD is allowed to take a job at a company possessing vast quantities of U.S. user data. Seven-year cooling off period? How about they just don't work for them at all? Ever? Fifth, the time has finally come for Congress to pass a digital bill of rights. This should include a right to digital due process. In other words, government officials should need a court order to take down online content, not send information requests such as the FBI was sending to Twitter. Furthermore, when users of big online platforms have their content or accounts removed, throttled, shadow banned, or otherwise restricted, no matter what name they use, they should have the right to be informed that it's happening, the right to a specific explanation of the reason why, and the right to a timely appeal. In addition, all users over the age of 18 should have the right to opt out of content moderation and curation entirely and receive an unmanipulated stream of information if they so choose. The fight for free speech is a matter of victory or death for America and for the survival of Western civilization itself. When I am president, this whole rotten system of censorship and information control will be ripped out of the system at large. There won't be anything left. By restoring free speech, we'll begin to reclaim our democracy and save our nation. Thank you, and God bless America. This is absolutely incredible. I mean, I knew Trump was going to do something like this, but I didn't know he was going to do it so quickly. And this is going to change YouTube, whether they like it or not. I can't wait. And perfect timing, too, because we're taking over the entertainment industry. Also, whether they like it or not. Because who wants to watch Star Wars, Simpsons, or Futurama made by Disney? I don't know about you, but I don't. Plus, I'm sick and tired of making YouTube videos, and I have to be careful what I say. It's just so stupid and childish. Censoring people just because you don't like their opinions is the epitome of tyranny. So I look forward to this bright future we have on YouTube suddenly. And you can expect my channel to take full advantage of this. And I can't wait to see what other changes we have coming right around the corner. This won't just be great for YouTube channels. It's going to be great just to watch YouTube. Imagine all the things you'll discover that you couldn't find before because it was being hidden from you. Donald Trump is going to make YouTube great again. And I can't wait to see it. Thanks for listening and I'll talk to you soon.